Hi, this is Aaron Russell from SSL.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to use OpenSSL to create a PKCS12 file. The PKCS12 format, also commonly known as PFX, is a binary format for bundling one or more certificates and a private key into a single file. A common use of PKCS12 is to bundle a certificate with its chain of trust and private key into a single password protected file so that it can be easily and securely installed on another computer. You'll usually see PKCS12 files with the file extensions P12 or PFX. To follow the instructions in this video, you'll need three things. First, you'll need a certificate file. This can either be in PEM or PKCS7 format, and we'll get into the differences between these formats a bit later when we show some actual examples. If you have more than one certificate you want to include in the file, such as an end entity certificate and one or more intermediate or root certificates, we'll cover that too. Second, you'll need the original private key that matches your certificate. If you are creating a file with more than one chain certificate, you just need the private key for the end entity certificate. For example, we could bundle a website's SSL slash TLS certificate, its private key, and any other certificates we want to add to the final PKCS12 file. Finally, you'll need to have OpenSSL installed on your computer. OpenSSL is an open source toolkit for the SSL and TLS protocols. If you're on a Unix system, like Linux or Mac OS, OpenSSL is probably already installed on your system. If you're running Windows, you can easily install OpenSSL with SIGWIN or the Windows subsystem for Linux. Searching the web will also reveal several sites distributing pre-compiled binaries for Windows, but using SIGWIN or a Linux package manager will help you keep your installation patched and up-to-date, and will also give you easy access to other open-source tools. So let's get started. First, we're going to convert a PEM file to PKCS12. PEM is a common container format for digital certificates and keys that is used by Apache and other web server platforms. A PEM file is simply a text file containing a base64 encoding of the certificate or key, along with a plain text header and footer. PEM certificate files from SSL.com will usually have the file name extension CRT, but you'll also see them with the extensions PEM or CER. Note that you can include more than one certificate in a PEM file. For example, if you download the CA bundle file from an SSL.com order, it includes multiple intermediate and root certificates in one text file that create a complete chain of trust for the end entity certificate. CA bundle files from SSL.com usually have the file name extension CA-bundle. We'll be working from the command line for the rest of this tutorial, so fire up a terminal window and let's get started. Here's a command for converting a PEM file and private key to PFX. When you do this yourself, Replace the file names in all caps with your actual paths and file names. Let's break this command down so that we can see what's going on here. OpenSSL is the command for running OpenSSL. PKCS12 is the OpenSSL utility for working with PKCS12 files. Dash export dash out certificate.pfx exports a PKCS12 file and saves it as certificate.pfx. Dash in key private key dot key specifies the private key to include. Dash in certificate.crt specifies the certificate file that goes with the private key. Dash cert file more.crt is optional and specifies additional certificates to include in the PKCS12 file. If you want to include more than one certificate in your PKCS12 file, they should all be included in this file. For example, if you're working with a certificate and a file with bundled CA intermediate and root certificates, you'd specify that bundled file here. If you are working with a certificate from SSL.com, you can download a bundled chain of trust from the CA bundle link in your certificate order, and it will be in the correct format to use in this tutorial. When you run the command, you'll be prompted to enter and verify an export password to protect the PKCS12 file. Remember this password because you'll need it again whenever you want to export the certificates and key. 
Next, we're going to cover the PKCS7 format, also known as P7B. PKCS7 is a format that is only used to store digital certificates, not private keys, and is usually found with the file extension P7B. PKCS7 files are most often encountered in Windows and Java server contexts, such as with Tomcat or IIS. If you need to include PKCS7 certificate files in your PKCS12 file, you'll need to convert them to PEM format first. Here's a command for doing that. Again, replace the file names in all caps with the actual paths and file names that you're using. Let's break this command down too. As before, OpenSSL is the command to run OpenSSL. PKCS7 is the utility for working with PKCS7 files. Dash print underscore certs dash in certificate dot p7b prints out any certificates contained in the PKCS7 file. Dash out certificate dot crt outputs the file in PEM format. Once you've converted any PKCS7 files you want to include to PEM format, you can follow the instructions from earlier in this video to bundle them with your private key into a PKCS12 file. Thanks for watching this video and we hope it was helpful. Please visit our website at www.ssl.com for much more information on working with digital certificates.